Previously on Idiot Nation. Am I being censored right now? All the other leaders see my good looks. All will bow to me and let me do what I want. I did not have sex with that woman. Hold all these ballless hypocritical leaders accountable and hang them for it. She had sex with me. Vote for me. Who vote for me? Thank you. Welcome to Fantasia National Television. Today, we're going to take a look at the National University of Fautasia, home of the smart and school for the bright. And history is written by the winners The ones that make it safe and sound History is written by the winners Cause you can't hold a pen if you're six feet underground Remember Lee Kuan Yew This university is for the smart I do well in my studies man Even though I'm, you know, I'm known to be incredibly lazy It's a natural gift of mine I find that the less I study, the better I score And I score when it matters most My experience in this university Wait, are you expecting me to say something nice? Are we on live? <laughs> this is the country's way of lying to the whole wide world that we're one harmonious society with no prejudices. Why am I studying here? My mom made me. Why am I studying business administration? My dad made me. Why? Beats me. Was it what I wanted? No. Then why am I doing this now? Because my mom and dad is paying. I'm an activist. One day, I'm going to be a real activist. I'm going to spend all my life fighting for human rights, animal rights, white rights, black rights, religious rights, media rights, fashion rights, gender rights, age rights, mm, vehicle rights, monetary rights, perhaps environmental rights, wrong rights, right rights, mm, and every right there is to fight for. Last year, during my trials, I almost failed paper. When the exams came, I answered the same questions like I did during my trials, and I scored an A. Next thing you know, I'm here with a full scholarship. Now, there are two possibilities. The first is, the government lowered the grading standards so that more people can be high achievers. The second, I'm just plain brilliant. Now, I think very highly of my government, but now let's just go with me being brilliant. Oh, um, I just studied here. Okay, um, I'm a child genius, I'm 15. My research? Oh, it's a study on how child geniuses are treated like lab rats or inanimate objects of fascination for experimentation and subsequently denied their childhood and sex appeal. I'm born to suffer. I'm born a rebel. I'll never be happy in my government. Every government will do something wrong. And I'll be there to make a stand. Whatever the battlefield may be. It can be human rights, animal rights, white rights, black rights, religious rights, media rights, fashion rights, gender rights, age rights, monetary rights, environmental rights, wrong rights, right rights and every right there is to fight for. I don't feel like I'm being treated like a student here, even though this place is sold as a liberal campus. I mean, look at me. First of all, I'm Indian. Everyone here thinks I came from a rubber plantation. I did that. Or they think that I was born rough and rude. Yeah, hey, I don't like being video. Stop videoing! Stop videoing! What do I want to be when I grow up? Probably 
in the civil service. You know, it's just common sense. By virtue of the fact that I'm Chinese, the sky's the limit, right? I mean, I'm fortunate enough to be born as the son of the land, even though, you know, the aboriginals came first. You know, common sense. I'm born to subvert. I'm born a rebel. I'm an activist, and I will never be happy until whatever. Secondly, I'm a woman. Women never get anywhere in this university or in this country for that matter. We're just as smart, just as effective, just as capable. I'm not trying to put men down, but I get put down every single week. I mean, let me ask you this. Do you really think I'm going to be a liability to the people around me just because by nature I can't help but leak once a month? What? Do I have a problem with it? Of course not. Remember Lee Kuan Yew, he needs to see a shrink Built too much on his tiny island, now it's starting to sink At least they need to be worried about what they're gonna drink So get your life jackets while they're still in sync Remember my heart fear? No, not really. History is written by the winners.